Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Uh, I did a video this morning, and uh, I I believe there was a, a problem with it because it disappeared, and I have an email explaining that it was misinformation, and that surely isn't what I was trying to do is give any inform misinformation to anyone. And I believe what the problem is is that there's just certain key words that we are no longer allowed to say in a free society. There should be no reason anybody should be banned or suppressed of saying things. Because all I said was that there was a patent for something before a crisis occurred and that sometimes there are two sides to governments and they like to fight against each other when really it's just one party, big, huge, woo, 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 party. Everybody having fun within that organization. And so if you talk about those key words, they will ban you and kick you off. And like I say there, that's, uh, you know, a great absolute proof of dictatorship or no, 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 that's not what I meant to say of absolute control. And there are certain people within this country and that, you know, that this country right here that sit there and say freedom for everybody except for the people that want to talk differently than the way I feel and think. I mean, it's an absolute oxymoron. Home of the free, land of the brave. Right? So we can see that we have issues far beyond just normal, oh, uh, that they can be, let's say, fixed through court of laws. These things can't even be fixed through violence. If you think that you can overthrow a government and then replace it with something different at this day and age, I... Um, I believe you're probably delusional. Everything is so intertwined that, you know, it's not like just, oh, let's use, I see there's an island just off of Florida right now that's going through some things. All right. The world governance decides who gets to be in power there, not the people. Anyways, uh, what am I trying to do and say here? The, the ridiculousness and uh, falsehood of this flag and country and everything it stands for right now, the fallacy of freedom, is what keeps everybody in prison and locked. Believing that there's hope in this country, believing that there's hope in this stuff, is what keeps you continually coming back every four years, every two years for you real big junkies. And if you wanted to, you could vote every year, locally. But it's not... So they ban everything and they're doing, you know, the freedom of speech, right? And, and just other things, of course. But they're getting ready to ban religion and specifically Christianity. The word Jesus Christ will be banned. It will be banned. And you won't be able to find a Bible if you can't find... 
I've been a prepper for 15 years and through all the different things that I've accumulated and buried and hidden and have and have let expire and realized it was overkill and all this, the only thing that I still keep is the Bible. This is the survival gear. They'll still let you buy guns and ammunition and medicine and everything else. But you watch, they're going to ban the Bible. It's not like I'm fear porn. They ban you off of the internet for talking about Jesus Christ. So, I mean, you know, you can't talk about the pandemic. You can't talk about certain words about the freedom of elections just the word election on a youtube video can get you banned because they don't know which way you were leaning are you for it or are you against it we're not sure so we're just going to ban you so there's a whole bunch of uh, uh a lot of different words that are absolutely forbidden in america to use on free speech platforms And that's absolutely bizarre. We happen to, uh, really, there's a lot of uh, people in America that uh, enjoyed President 45. And it was because of, uh, oh, he broke the political uh, PC, you know, political correctness speech. He used his freedom of speech and we as Americans liked it. Finally, somebody out there is talking without fear of the consequences, good or bad, let the chips fall where they may. You need to be able to sit there and stand up for something and say, this is how I feel, even if it's wrong. You have to be able to stand for that so that you can see that it was wrong in the future. But if you stand for nothing, you follow and fall for everything. Like I say, the red and the blue has been fighting for the whole time this country's been around. There's no one here that's going to fix that type of stuff. It's designed and geared to stay perpetually in motion of confusion. It's designed that way. Again, Jesus Christ solves these issues, shows clarity. I mean, I, just a few hours ago, like I said, a, a video got taken off just because I said the words. Just because I said words. I didn't accuse anybody anything. I just said what was real. But that's how that goes, huh? Freedom of speech is your barometer if you live in a free society. If you can't talk about it, how could you be free? And if we can't talk about multiple subjects right now, multiple subjects, unless it is you can talk about all the forbidden words as long as you are slandering the other side. They don't care about that. But if you try to bring unity and the people together to see the truth, whatever it may or may not be, right? They don't want that. They want the red and the blue to be fighting at all times, no matter what, so there's always a division between it. Always. We'll ban you if you get it together. If you slander and hate the other side, use those forbidden words all you want. Keep the division going. Republican, Democrat. Left, right. Good, bad. Wrong, right. Well... I hope that you're able to break free of government and get your head in the Bible. Amen. All glory to Jesus Christ.